How's it going everyone, JKXVX here. We're back on Forza Horizon 5 once again with another installation to the update videos. The seventh live stream all about new stuff coming to Horizon 5 has just finished and in today's video I'm going to compile all of it and tell you everything new we know about the game. If this video does help you out, please do consider subscribing to the channel, it helps out massively. But let's get into it. This is everything new which was revealed today about Horizon 5. Now. It's only less than two months until the game releases. It's getting very, very close now. And one of the things we're still waiting to get is the car list. We know quite a lot of cars which are gonna be in the game, but we have no official car list yet. Now we do. The day one car list for Horizon 5 is being revealed today. I'm gonna have a link in the description when it, it is live on their website, but that is every single car that's going to be added to Forza Horizon 5 on day one. It's about time we get it. There's absolutely tons of cars, as you can imagine. Now, it is worth mentioning that this list still isn't complete. There could be a few manufacturers which get added to this within the next couple of months when they sort of confirm things. So the list still isn't complete. There could be more. Um, but yeah, that's the basis of it. Now something which I'm sure lots of people are going to notice is on this car list, the peel isn't there. The manufacturer peel isn't on the car list. Now, now I'm sure lots of you are going to be disappointed with this as everyone loves driving the peels. Now, either it's not in the game or it's not been announced yet and it's one of those that's still going to be added to the list later on. We don't know, but that's one of the things that was spotted about the car list. But other than that, oh. I can't wait to drive all the cars on there. Let me know in the comment section if there's anything you spot on there that you're disappointed about or happy about. Let me know. Now some more disappointing news, which again, I think most of you are going to be upset about, is a demo. We all like demos for Horizon games, get to play it a bit early. However, Horizon 5 has been, it's been said that we're not getting a demo for Horizon 5, which is very disappointing. Obviously, Forza Horizon 3 and 4 and blah blah blah, they all had demos. Horizon 5 is not going to have a demo, which means that we'll get to play the game for the first time on release day. On to some other things now, which were in the live stream. A new feature has been sort of revealed and shown. This is called the Expeditions. I'm going to show a bit of gameplay and a bit of explanation on what an Expeditions, you know, what an Expedition is in Horizon 5 now. Yeah, and, and I think the, the great thing about Expeditions as well is that they are all completely different from one another. Each, each time you sat on one, we're, we're not going to spoil any of them right now, but each time you sat on one, it's like you really have no idea what to expect. They're full of surprises, full of just absolute wow moments. Um, yeah, I, we are, I think, going to try and keep, keep the lid on them from now on so that people can experience them for themselves when they get the game in November. Any landing you walk away from is a good one. I'm down next to some kind of blood in the temple. I'll send them a player. No one's been here in a while. Look, even the excavations are abandoned. An expedition to a lost city. Rediscovered by you, Ramiro Ruiz Miron, and the Horizon Festival. Hey, Rami, I think I'm gonna take a look around. Find somewhere to put the beacon. Do not let me interrupt your Mesoamerican history lesson, my friend. You can come and get me when you're ready. So this bit drops the pace a little now. Uh, so that first bit was obviously quite high octane. octane. We were chasing mm -hmm. uh, Rami in his plane. We were heading out towards the, towards the jungles, but we found this ancient ruined site now, and we're heading out to heading out to have a little bit of a little moment to explore, to soak it in, to see what secrets we can find. This has been here for thousands any eagle-eyed viewers will know that this is uh, one of the ruins we went through in one of the very early episodes of these live streams as well. I think I found just the place for that Horizon Pulse radio beacon. Yeah, so I really like the change of pace in this. It's one of my favorite things about expeditions, uh, these exploration zones. I think they're just really nice to really soak in the atmosphere. Found the photo point, guys. If you want to come over and we'll all, uh, all pose. I oh, oh, I want to join in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is actually six player co op, Charlie. So if, uh, <laughs> if you were in the building, time. yeah, we could have done it. <laughs> you, Maybe we could have handed time you a we'll pad. We'll fashion away because I've not played yet and I'm absolutely desperate. I'll take photo. You want me to go through photo mode to take it? Yeah, yeah. We lined up right. nicely. Oh, no, Marco's. Marco's, Marco's he's, he's struggling. He's doing struggling his own thing. It's not that easy. Let's have an next. 
explore around. We need to get to the top of the central ruin. This music's stunning, by the way. The atmosphere that it's building is so nice. Wow, Rami. I think I found one of the statues. Don't touch it. It's very powerful. I think we found another. My buddies, however, are uh, elsewhere, so I'll... I thought you wanted to get to the top of the central room. That's what you said. So I, did, yeah, I did, I did, I did. And then, uh, and then, shiny things, Mike. Shiny things in the corner by eye. You can't, you can't ah! not go for shiny things. Oh, it told me to take a picture. Here we go. You're not just waiting for me to land on the top. Oh, that was. There you go. Oh, Tom very nice. nice. Over the pair of you. No, I have driving line off, and I am not the player to have driving line off. This is a recipe <laughs> for disaster. You should just follow us. You should just stop being so slow. And, uh... But you can see each other. This storm is intimidating. It's great, isn't it? All the, all the foliage so blowing good. across the screen. We saw some lightning strikes. Oh my goodness me. That's what the expeditions are. Now the single player campaign has also been sort of revealed and shown for the first time, um, including the features and the sort of modes that are within it. Gonna have some quick highlights and explanations on screen now on what the single player campaign is like. Yes, yes, so, but first we are gonna look at the campaign. Previous kind of Horizon campaigns have said, um, you're going to do this gameplay now, road racing, because we think that's the best at this stage in the game. And now you're going to do some cross country or some off-road or we're going to introduce skills and stories. This campaign has kind of thrown most of that out of the window, apart from the kind of early setup that Mike spoke about. And it's largely said, you tell us what you want to do and we'll give you the tools to kind of make that happen, but in a much more interesting way than we've maybe previously done. Goal of the game in the Horizon Adventure is to get onto the Hall of Fame. And to get to the Hall of Fame, you have to earn something called accolades. And we'll go into those in a second. But let's have a look at the adventure screen really quickly, because this is one of my favorites. Look at that. Oh, How that cool is does that so look? colorful. Look at that. When I speak about going on an adventure and giving players the tools to like unlock the gameplay they want and, and tell us how they want to play through the campaign. But let's have a look at the gameplay that's available there. So we've arrived at the festival site. We now have a nice tick for Welcome to Mexico. You've already seen and we took part in that amazing showcase on a wing and a prayer. Um, Car versus playing, but with a twist. We know what the twist is now. And we can unlock uh, a story called Vocho, which is uh, finding and restoring a legendary car. Desperately, desperately not trying to unlock that right now because it is great. And the Goliath, right? What Horizon game is complete without an epic, many, many, many miles long race around the map. So you can do all of that at the main festival. And each one of those we call a, a new chapter. So earning enough accolades unlocks a new chapter. And I can choose to kind of spend my new chapter. Like my new chapter is going to be Vocho or it's going to be Goliath. Yeah. And, yeah. And mm -hmm. The great thing about this is as we talk about this Horizon adventure, it's that every player really will have a pretty unique path through this game. It's kind of giving people the freedom and we deliver it with this awesomely cute, adorable map. And we are going to see tons of categories Ooh. and really importantly, thousands of accolades. Um, caveat here, we're not asking the players and we don't expect players to complete every single accolade in the game. What we are saying is whatever you like to do, there'll be a good collection of accolades for you. It might be that you like to do a bunch of racing and you like to do some PR stunts and some skills as well. It might be that you like to do just kind of online stuff and we've got a whole bunch of categories in there. Um, that's the kind of beauty of accolades and they extend beyond the campaign. So once you've, you've reached the Hall of Fame, so you've unlocked everything on the adventure map and you might think, oh, what else is there to do? Accolades are this beautiful way of having this collection of bite-side challenges that let you kind of mop up the things that you still haven't done and just extend your game. And I think we'll extend it in the ways we have done with um, Forza Horizon 4, where we're delivering new content on like a weekly and kind of monthly basis. These will plug into this really well. Lives for racing. Marco fancy <laughs> doing some racing. We'll have a look at racing. Oh, my God. oh no. Many, many locked accolades. And we need to go and build the Horizon Apex outpost. So yeah. let's go and do that. Welcome to Mexico is a nice small collection of kind of early game accolades. Um, we have a few, like we've arrived at the festival. We can purchase a car from the auto show. Um, 
we can also take part in a bunch of routes. If I select this one now, it will pin it to my hood and set my route and we can drive to go and do that. All of this has definitely made me even more excited to get my hands on the game couple months left less than that not long now unfortunately in this update video there was disappointing news regarding the demo and spotting some missing manufacturers from the car list which may be still to come we don't know we'll have to wait and see make sure to get yourself down in the description to have a look at the car list have a thorough look let me know what you think about it i'd love to hear anyway guys that is everything new we now know about horizon 5 presumably a couple of weeks from now there'll be another update video we'll have to wait and see nothing's confirmed and then it's honestly not much longer until we get our hands on the game, finally. Anyway guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Foot 2005 content. See you all later.